Hey everyone, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks, and today we're taking a look at three strong buy, high yield dividend stocks. So let's get into it. All right guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for being here. Today, we're taking a look at three high yield dividend stocks. We're talking about yields that are north of 8% on a couple of them that also come in with a strong buy consensus from Wall Street analysts and their price targets would imply some healthy future growth potential. So today we're gonna take a look at these companies, what it is that they do, those dividend details, and of course, what Wall Street is predicting for the stock's future. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and make sure that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Now let's get right into these three strong buy, high yield dividend stocks. First on our list today, we're taking a look at AT&T. They trade under the ticker T, currently priced at $17.01 per share. In the past year, they've climbed nearly 7% and have grown over 12% in the last six months. They do currently score a 10 out of 10 on the tip rank smart score. AT&T is one of the leading telecommunication companies in the United States. They are one of the biggest players in the 5G and fiber network space, and their 100% fiber network now has the ability to serve 21 million plus consumer locations, with their 5G network covering 290 million people across the US. With 2023 revenues of $122 billion, they are the nation's largest internet provider. AT&T has been a well-known name in the high-yield dividend sector for a while. A couple of years ago, they did have to cut their dividend about in half after their Warner Brothers media spinoff. But even with that decreased dividend, they still boast an impressive yield. Their current quarterly dividend is $0.28 cents per share for a dividend yield of 6.69% and a payout ratio just shy of 47%. You can see here that decrease back in 2022. Now their last dividend payment did just come out on May 1st. They shared their Q1 earnings report just a couple of weeks ago on April 24th, and they did come out with both an earnings beat and reaffirmed their full year guidance. For their Q1, AT&T reported earnings per share of 55 cents, which did sneak in two cents ahead of analysts' expectations. Revenues were fairly flat at $30 billion and did fall short of estimates, but the company did say that they saw strong growth in their mobility and consumer wireline connectivity businesses, which represent about 80% of their total revenues. About one week ago, we did have a five-star analyst from Tigris Financial reiterate their buy rating on the stock. The primary reason for their optimistic outlook is the company's substantial investment in building a diversified, high-speed connectivity network, and this strategic move is expected to catalyze a resurgence of long-term revenue growth, enhanced cash flow generation, and improved profitability margins. With 11 current analyst ratings, the AT&T stock does come in as a strong buy with nine buy ratings and two holds. Their average price target comes in at $21.05 for an upside potential of 23.7%. Down below, we can see that recent rating here from Tigers Financial. They have an upside of nearly 70% on the stock, and that is the street high. Our low-end price target is a hold from RBC with an upside of 5.4%, and the rest coming in between the teens to low 20s. Our second high yield dividend stock is Alliance Bernstein. They trade under the ticker AB, currently priced at $32.58. Overall in the past year, they're up 3%, but have climbed 22% in the last six months. They currently score a seven out of 10 on the tip rank smart score. Alliance Bernstein is a financial services company. The asset manager works mainly with institutional and high net worth investors, but also with smaller retail clients. They operate in three distinct business segments, their eponymous asset manager, a private wealth management segment, and a research segment. The company is based out of Nashville and finished 2023 with over $725 billion in total assets under management. The company pays out their dividend on a quarterly basis. And with a current quarterly dividend of 73 cents, they come in with an impressive dividend yield of 8.08%, well ahead of the sector average of 2.1%. Their Q1 earnings report came out on April 25th, where they did have both an earnings and revenue beat. They reported Q1 earnings per share of 73 cents, beating the expectations of 71 cents per share, and reported revenue of $1.1 billion. That grew nearly 8% year over year and beat estimates by 200 million. The company had active net inflows of $3.7 billion, and their retail channel grew by 6% annualized. Following that Q1 earnings report, a five-star analyst at Bank of America reiterated their rating on the stock. 
The buy rating was due to a combination of factors, including their positive net flows and operational efficiencies. They said their recent earnings report showed the company's first positive net flow quarter after three quarters of net outflows, which was supported by strong performance in fixed income and alternative multi-asset classes. They anticipate the company will continue to benefit from fixed income reallocations and a trend towards re-risking in the market, leading to improved inflows in the future. Now, the AB stock does only have three current analyst ratings, but they come in with unanimous buys. And their average price target comes in at $42.67 for an upside potential of nearly 31%. Down below, our three recent ratings are all here, ranging from an upside of 16.9% all the way up to nearly 57% from Bank of America. If you've made it to our third stock today, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Third on our list of high yield dividend stocks is Frontline. They trade under the ticker FRO, currently priced at $24.80 per share, and they've seen some incredible growth of 95% over the past year, climbing 19% in the last six months. Right now, they score a 7 out of 10 on the TipRank Smart Score. Frontline is one of the world's largest tanker companies. They carry both crude oil and refined products and operate one of the industry's largest and most modern fleets. The company has 86 vessels afloat, with the oldest being built in 2009 and 20 of them being built in 2020 or later. The company has been in operations since 1985. Frontline is another company with a dividend yield of over 8%. Their most recent quarterly dividend was $0.37 cents per per share for a dividend yield of 8.77% that was paid out on March 27th. They'll be sharing their Q1 earnings report at the end of this month on May 31st. This does follow a Q4 earnings beat back in February. For their Q4, they reported earnings per share of 53 cents, beating expectations by 2 cents per share. Their fourth quarter revenue came in at $415 million, which was $5 million below the forecast, but the company did say that they delivered their strongest full-year results in 15 years, despite muted markets in the fourth quarter. Back in March, a five-star analyst from Jefferies actually upgraded their rating on the stock from a hold to a buy. He said that tankers are entering year three of strong earnings and the oil market balance is shifting further in their favor. They see continued compelling value in owning tanker stocks, saying they trade at just 0.8 times net asset value and at a sizable 22.5% free cash flow yield. The frontline stock currently has four analyst ratings, coming in as a strong buy with three buys and one hold. And analyst average price target comes in just above $29 per share for an upside potential of over 17.5%. Looking at our recent ratings down below, our hold rating comes from the back of March with a downside of 10%, and our most recent rating here in April is our high-end price target with an upside of over 39%. So that is a quick look at three strong buy, high yield dividend stocks. Let me know your thoughts on these three companies in the comments down below and what other dividend stocks you love. I know there's a lot of great options out there. Please keep in mind these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock, so make sure you're always doing your own research and due diligence. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you back here next time.